Good morning, everybody. Another video from Waze Farm. Today is uh, Wednesday, December the 28th, and um, it's almost noon time. It's probably around about 10 30, 10 45. So I wanted to make another video. This is, I want to call this part one because um, I'm not going to hook it up to my uh, roto tiller today, but I want to take it out the box. Um, this is the uh, quick, what is it, three point quick hitch that I purchased uh, about a week ago from uh, Harbor Freight. I know there's uh, some videos out there um, with this uh, particular quick hitch. Uh, I have a uh, 25KL2510 Coyote tractor that I purchased uh, about a year and a half ago. And uh, when I first, not knowing too much about tractors, uh, I didn't realize uh, the importance or what even a quick hitch was. And um, after detaching the, actually I, I took the tractor to uh, one of the tractor uh, um, sales uh, locations uh, close to my farm. And uh, they actually uh, cut, you know, made all the cuts and made all the connections for my rototiller. Um, and after I purchased it, I used it a couple of times and then I decided, okay, I'm done with it for the season. I need to take the rototiller off. Then I decided I maybe need to get it back on. And putting that rototiller back on without a quick hitch is a pain in the butt, which I'm sure a lot of you out there that know about a quick hitch, okay, already know. So, thank God, um, I started reviewing some videos on YouTube and uh, saw this uh, particular model Three point quick hitch that's sold by Harbor Freight, um, and I said, "Oh my God, I got to get one of these." So here I am today, and I want to put my little two cents out there on YouTube and um, share you share my experience uh, with with the quick hitch and my tractor. Um, this is going to be part one of the video, so I'm not going to try to hook it up to the roto till today. I'm just going to basically hook it up to my tractor. So. Um, Part two will actually be me getting uh, it hooked up to the roller till. And before I actually end the video too, um, most of the videos that I've seen about this particular quick hitch, okay, there is an issue with the top hitch right here. And the, the reason there's an issue with it because when you're hooking up to your implements, okay, the hitch doesn't allow this hitch right here is seated back and it doesn't allow for whatever implement you're using to drop down into the lower brackets right here fully 100 percent so there is um um some there's uh, actually uh through watching youtube and watching other people um there's an aftermarket top hitch here that is sold that actually makes this top hook go out further so your implements will see down into these lower brackets right here so again like i said this will be part one of the video uh, I'm not going to try to hook it up to my um, roto tiller today. Um, we will see if I'm going to have that problem with the uh, seating um, of the roto tiller down to this top hitch and connecting with these two connect points down here. Uh, hopefully, uh, it connects 100% um, when I do decide to put it on it. If not, um, I found that they're on Amazon. They sell the uh, aftermarket top hitch that actually seeds pushes the top hitch out a little bit further for like $35. And I'll make that purchase once I get to that step, which will be video part two. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this particular video of me hooking it up to um, the tractor itself. And um, until the next video, ways out. So I'm going to take this uh, out of the box first. See what we got here.
couple pieces of foam, I guess, to hold everything inside the box. I'm gonna take these and put them down over here on the ground. And we got our directions. So. And we got the quick hitch. So here we go. Um, it comes with the uh, connecting pins. Connecting pins on top, connecting pins over here. And that is your, these are your release handles right here. Take that. Take these directions and put them over here. What I'm gonna do now is uh, Take the tractor, turn it around, get the uh, camera out of the sunlight. So I've got the uh, my uh, implement, um, actually the uh, quick hitch here, and um, I'm gonna take the pins out and make the connection, and uh, see how well this uh, fits onto my tractor. We'll see here. A lot of I've seen a couple videos. Some people make the hookup up top first. I'm gonna try to to hook up in the bottom um, first, and then hook up up top.
Okay, got that. Now I'm gonna try to uh, hook up this uh, center pin. Look at that, we got it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put these safety, these uh, safety pins back in. those up. Don't mind me now, guys. I'm just taking this plastic off of these handles right here. So what do you think? It looks pretty good, right? And uh, hopefully uh, this top hook doesn't give me too much problems. Um, if so, I'll go on Amazon and order the other top hook that actually brings it out a little bit. Because um, this is the main problem that I'm seeing on YouTube with all the people that have actually purchased this particular uh, this particular quick hitch right here. Um, and uh, like I said, hopefully everything works out well with that. And I'll be able to just back up, lower this thing down a little bit, pick up my, um, connect my rototiller, and go on about and do my business. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the uh, video. Again, as um, soon as I uh, decide, okay, to uh, go to the next step and, and make, try to make the connection with my rototiller, that'll be uh, video part two. Until then, um, thanks for enjoying. Uh, watching actually thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video uh, please uh, you know subscribe to my channel and, and give me a thumbs up okay